Sun and Cancer, guys. So what is the sun? The sun is what you consciously see from the world along with, like, the vehicle you express yourself with. So... Uh, what does that mean in a way? You know, the vehicle you kind of express yourself is just how you come off to people when you be saying shit, you know? Like, I mean, it's not always when you're saying shit. It's when you do something. It's when, you, you know, you, like, you flip people off. You freaking, like, you say, fuck you, you know? you Everybody, depending on what your sun sign is, you do it in that way. Now, um, cancer, right? So, cancer is born... It, cancer was born from the fourth house, and the fourth house is kind of like, you know, your domestic situations, where you feel like is home, where you feel comfortable at, where you can, like, rest, do some work, whatever you want, man, you know? And that's pretty much what that is in in a, in a in a nutshell, I guess. But like, and then after that, we have Cancer's exaltation, which is in Jupiter. It's at home in the Moon. Uh, it is away in Saturn, and it falls in Mars. So, and then also Cancer's cardinal water, which you can interpret as initiating, creating new ways of how to feel and kind of like add and see emotions from things you know and so it's just like cardinals like the creative aspect and then waters the emotions and the feelings you know and like you know, feelings are feelings are kind of like I, I i separate the two because uh feelings you know you catch like millions trillions i mean i don't want to say like I, I mean i said trillions but i was about to say i don't want to say billions but like you catch the point of the matter is is like you catch a lot of feelings in a day man you know like you could feel some type of way about a freaking like it says 289.9 on the gas tank. That basically means it's 290. I'm not saving one tenth of a cent. You know, it's shit like that, right? And, uh, and like, you know, that could be a feeling, but you don't really like freak out like I just did to it, you know? You do, you do a lot of motherfucking situations to it. Like, like, you feel like you feel the air on your, on your freaking, like, on your chin every day. And like, unless it's like really cold or really hot, you're not gonna do anything about it. You're just like, oh, it's air. It's just, it's uh, something I take for granted because it's everywhere, you know? Like, like, I could be freaking about, like, <gasps> I don't have enough air. I feel uncomfortable, <sighs> you know? But that's not the case. So, like, so, like, and then emotions are kind of like your interpretation of it, you know? And I mean, like, I kind of I kind of gave some shitty examples about, like, the, the sense and the frickin' air. But, like, it's, it's really up to you, you know? The whole point is when you have an emotion about something, you're deciding to feel this type of way about it. And you're programming that feeling of what it did, of, like, that input to, like, how you want to feel about it, you know? Because people can feel two different type of different ways. Like, take, let's, like, take, um, take, like, getting paid, man. If you're a frickin' McDonald's worker and you get, say, like, a $500 check for what you did in a way, like, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I got a fat-ass paycheck, man, fuck yeah, dude, but if you're, say, like, Bill Gates or something, you're gonna be like, what? That's what I have in my wallet, like, bro, what? Like, you know, see, see what I'm kind of getting at there? Like, it really doesn't matter, and this is something, like, cancers, cancers, I mean, like, depending on, like, how much you intellectualize all of this, like, what you feel, and, like, what you see, and how you express yourself, you know, cancer's kind of, like, cancer's really, they, they, they experience this a lot, but they may not be able to explain that to you, you know, I mean, more often than not, they will be able to, like, like, a smarter one would be able to explain it to you, but, like, if you're, like, five, five-year-old cancer, you're just gonna sort of, like, get, be getting your toe wet a little bit, you know what I'm saying, so, like, let's, let's get on to kind of what these do, these people do, right, so cancers, right, more often than not, when you're having a conversation with them, they will, like, before they even analyze what you say, they'll get, like, the emotional weight from it, you know? Because that's what they're catching, man. This is what they do all all day, every fucking day, you know? Like, once we get into it a little bit more, I'm going to explain how, like, if a cancer walks in the room and they're a part of the certain family, how they feel about a subject is going to go way farther than freaking any other member in the family, unless they are, like, a water sign and they maybe they even have more, like, uh more water elements to it so they have more like more of a stake in the freaking water aspect of like life but this isn't the case oh what was the first thing oh yeah the first thing i was saying right the freaking um they the first thing they're going to see is the emotional stance on something right so let's say like you have uh you have a cancer that like really likes food and like they just went to the doctor and they got a freaking cholesterol reading and they're just like oh they're high on triglycerides today so you know they got they got a bad bad freaking reading and and like say someone else's like little dumbass walks around and says hey man what type of pizza do you want to get today you want to get freaking pepperoni meat lovers and you're just going because oh you know we always like meat lovers that's what we always get on Fridays you know a cancer may take they can't a sun and cancer person may take that horribly 
you know, they'll be like, like in their mind, they'll like, they'll be like, does this motherfucker know I just went to the doctor and I can't be eating all these fatty foods and all that shit right now. This is fucking up my day. You know, like how dare they say something to me? So they may react to say something and sort of like, like if it may not, it may not get to them directly, but they may notice it. And like, if it, if it, depending on, depending on how much it hurt them will depend on like, it'll, it'll depend on how quickly they snap back at you. Like if they really, if that really stuck a cancer deep, they would snap back instantly and come at your, like your most notable insecurity off the bat. And that's how, you know, you really fuck them up because sun and cancer people, they have this like really weird dynamic about how, like, about how, about how, uh, about how, um, whatchamacallit, about how emotional retaliation works, you know, because not only are they retaliating for what you did, they're retaliating for it being uncalled for, they're retaliating for it being out of place, they're retaliating for the pain it caused to them, like, times three, and then, like, if you do all that math together, you get, like, a times ten motherfucking snapback from a crab, you know, and this is why, and this is why, like, you know, like, you could take a crab on a beach example, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you're playing with a crab on a beach and you're poking with, with a stick and you decide to kick it, that crab is probably going to pinch on your big toe and stay along for the ride. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, like, it's just shit like that, man. Like, you don't want to fuck with a cancer's emotional stance on things. And even if, like, it didn't hurt them that bad, they may, cat like, hold it on for a later a little bit. And, like, uh, and, like, uh, next thing you know, like, ten days later when you're feeling a, a little fat and you take, like, an extra fat shit and they, they may say something like, oh... I wish, you know, we should all get some more fiber in our diet when goddamn well they know you had little rabbit shits going on and that you couldn't take a big, like, fat long one that when you had to be just sit there and go, ugh, ugh, ugh. And they're coming at you and giving you that emotional response by, like that. Because freaking cancer people, like, they don't, you gotta remember, man, this is, this is freaking, like, the sun is in water. So they are seeing things through a water situation. So obviously they're going to express things through water, the emotions and the feelings. They're not going to come at you and say, fuck you, man, this hurt my feelings because of this, 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 and this. If you're at that level of a relationship with a cancer and they do know you like that, they may bring it up. But like, if it's just someone that like, you know, through an acquaintance or you're just a friend, you're not like a good or a great friend. Like they'll just, excuse me, they'll just keep that shit going, man. They'll just let it go and fuck with you on the emotional stance that you brought it up in. Because remember, you brought it up and it was on call for. So that's what they're doing. Now, um, now let's, uh, let's move on a little bit, man. So like bouncing off that a little bit, a son and cancer person, if there's like emotional tension in the room, you got to remember cardinal water initiating, creating, they, they create the feeling and like the guidelines and the emotional waves for that room, man. You got to remember a crab is like a crab is like skittle, 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 skittle. You know, it's not like I don't know if you class them as classify them as amphibians or whatever, but like, you know, they can go in the water as they please. They can skittle in their sand if they want. You know, they can do both, man. It's up to them. You know, they're the ones they're the ones they're the ones not necessarily like like they do emit the waves and stuff, but like it's a very like controlled setting so like that conscious awareness of it comes from them like knowing and living in it and knowing what they want to express at that point in time and so this plays out as like it plays out as the wave you know with all this understanding and observation of it they emit the waves man they are this freaking their home man they know how to like sit and just they just know how to do it man but let me explain it a little bit more so like with this with this placement if they walk in a room and they're feeling bad you will feel it too. And it's not necessarily like they want you to see it, but it's just like the emotions and feelings and like that watery aspect of things is their home and they want to feel comfortable. And if they pick a feeling that they are really vibing with at that moment in time, you will like, even if they don't want you to feel it, you will feel it, man. Like, oh fuck. If a freaking like say a cancer person just failed the SATs, man, you won't even hear about it. Like, like you may, like, like I said, like you may not even hear about it. They may talk a little bit. You may see them crying in the corner because they don't want you to see their emotions themselves. And they're not comfortable with, with you on that level. And oh my God, comfort and care and feeling like they need to be nurtured, man. When it comes to cancer, man, that's their motherfucking thing. That's what they do. And like, so like, say like, say like, so let's define like this comfortable place. Wait, man, I kind of just bounced off. I sort of, my mind's going to another place. So I'm just going to go with it. But like, uh, so say like, say a cancer's comfortable place is like that they get like the emotional fix that they kind of want is like movies right you know movies like story time is like the proper vibes they want to be that sort of like sense of escapism in a way even though it may not be i mean it's not really escape if you're monetizing it and it's helping you live you know but uh this is this that's your problem it ain't mine 
But um, but yeah, like so if a cancer like really likes movies or something and they really want to live in that comfortable place, they would be they would probably seclude themselves in their rooms and just watch movies all day because that's where they get their feelings. You know, that's what's going on. That's like just how they do it. And that's where they want to be. Yeah, because like the whole moon aspect of things is very like that's where they find home man. they want to be able to like you can look at it you can look at like the moon kind of like a cancer's home which is their launching pad to their exaltation which is the highest place that they want to be which is like where they want to um where they want to like ride the vibes and just like go chase the freaking the the expansion of the feelings that they want to feel you know and say if it's movies or something then you would have to look at it like, oh, okay, their freaking their their safe home space, which is their shell, is the freaking is like their room, you know. And then once they have that space together, you know, the blinds are shut. They got they got the freaking they got the freaking blanket over the window so no light gets in. You know, they can be they can sleep all they want. They can freaking you they they have Netflix so they can just Netflix all they want. Then that's a happy place for them. But you have to look at it like. You know, the setting is, is kind of like the moon aspect of it. And then the exaltation is the movies, what they're actually expanding and binging into, you know? And that's just kind of what it is, man. Now, let me, uh, let me, let me go through Saturn a little bit. So, so Saturn is kind of like, you can look at the Saturn aspect to Cancer as, as like the shell, you know, like the shell of a crab. So this is the shell of a crab. You can imagine it like, let me think, let me think. The shell of the crab is that sense of like nurturing and emotional security that the moon brings. And it's the actual structure which they can engage into that moonly aspect, you know? So it is, it is like bouncing off the freaking movie aspect. It is the, uh, it is the, um, whatchamacallit? It is the, uh, it is like the room, the bed, the TV, the freaking, uh, the, um, pfft, you know, the net paying for the Netflix account, all that structure, right? A cancer may not necessarily like to do that, but since it's away in Saturn, they recognize that it's have to. So they have to use, so they have to use like the tools that they have to get this job done so that they can get back to their home and exaltation, right? Now, say if this all fucked up and they cracked the shell, bouncing back on the whole reason of how a cancer like snaps back like 10 times more than you did it is because it's like, you know, they fall in Mars, man. They hate to act. They are very slow to act unless they have their own feeling about a subject. That's the only thing that can motivate them. It's like a top-down situation, man. As above, so below, man. You won't act on the bottom if you don't have the top. And that's just how it goes, man. Anyways, I'm kind of, uh, I'm sort of, I'm sort of, I'm rambling, but I can go a little bit minimal Mars. Yeah. So, like, so, like, the sort of, the whole, where Mars kind of takes place is in, like, is in, like, a relationship setting, you know? Like, bouncing off like they kind of like a cancer a cancer doesn't really want to attack you they just feel that it's necessary because they don't because they want to make sure that you never they never have to go through this whole situation again you know so that's just kind of why they may snap back but anyways I, I, i'm rambling man you gotta you gotta freaking you just just all right man this is not <laughs> i don't know why i'm still laughing man i gotta end this video man i'm just playing too much <laughs>